Welcome to Cut Above Tarot, Gemini. Gemini. Oh, Gemini. Gemini. I've already went ahead on the show for your cards and got them all laid out. We're using the angel romance cards. Uh, we're using the energy oracle cards. And also I have some cards called Manga Tarot. M-A-N-G-A. All right. Uh, one of my favorite decks, as you can tell, how beat up the box is. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get started, if you don't mind. Gemini, on your energy oracles, you have the a woman holding a coin and the action card. Gemini, what I got from this was that uh, uh, in order for you to become wealthy or as to be a, a, a very privileged woman, or you could be one of those, or you're on your way to being one, they said there's going to be some, some action that needs to be taken. You're going to have to do some make uh, there's going to have to be some action taken in order for you to become this very privileged woman in order for you to be able to have money like that you see how this woman she not want for nothing she ain't hurting for nothing she got everything she need probably except a man but you didn't hear that one from me okay all right the other cause you got after that was um the ten of pentacles the ten of pentacles in this deck says this is a person that wants to share so it could be that uh, this privileged woman or whoever this is embodying that energy of a privileged woman has a bunch of wealth and stuff and she wants or he wants to share it with someone special, okay? But you're going to have to do something. You're going to have to take some action in order for this to happen. You also got the two of pentacles. The two of pentacles normally means that you're juggling, right? However, in this deck, it doesn't mean that you're juggling. Okay, the two of pentacles means that you are getting in motion. So you probably getting in motion to uh, get yourself in a position where you will be able to share. So in all, you actually getting yourself in motion so you can take action to become this privileged woman, this woman of wealth. Hello, somebody. Okay, um, this card, the next card is your <clears throat> is your eight of pentacles. The eight of pentacles speaks of a. Uh, Paying attention to all the details, all right? So there may be a document or something. Maybe you're doing some prenuptial. Maybe you're going before your attorney or something and setting it up where you can give somebody trust fund or something like that. But there's something that you're about to do, uh, Gemini. You're trying to fix it. And, and whatever it is, um, you're going to stand your ground on it. You're pretty much firm about it. You've never made your mind up about it. And that's what it's going to be. All right, can't nobody change your mind, can't nobody persuade you, but this is what you want to do. You want to share your wealth uh, with someone or someones, some people, okay? Maybe, like I said, you're setting up a trust fund or, or, or something like that to continue generational wealth coming in. Your next card is the Seven of Pentacles, okay? They say this is a time of ripening, okay? All right. A time of ripening, so the time is, is right right now for you to do this with your money, all right? Uh, you got the high priestess. This high priestess, I forgot what she meant right off, because this is a different deck, okay? Uh, but in this, oh yeah, I think she's, uh, oh, intuitive, yeah. Your intuition and stuff is, is pretty high, but I'm going to find it anyway. You say, oh, a connection in spirit and soul. So uh, you're ascending more in your spiritual uh your spiritual growth oh yeah you should be pretty much off the charts uh having them dreams and visions and stuff like that in fact i can tell you that i myself started having uh visions very strong visions when i go to lay down at nighttime this is not something new for me but it's, it's been a while since i've had them uh when i go to lay down so now that i, I now they're coming back like they used to and I, i'm not sure um uh, uh, whew, I'm enjoying it. Let's just leave it like that, okay? Gemini, they say some of you may be in some pain. Might be some physical pain or some emotional pain. However, they said that uh, you got the judgment card, okay? It's going to be something going to be done about it. And at the end, you're going to be able to celebrate, all right? So the judgment card in this deck means... Oh, boy. <laughs> the beginning of an end, yeah. I forgot. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, my brain, my brain shut down for a moment. 
Well, but the judgment card in this deck means that this is the beginning of the end. So this pain that you've been going through, whether it be spiritual, I mean emotional or, or physical, is coming to an end. And after which you're going to be able to celebrate or rejoice or whatever it is you do, you know, to uh, for uplifting, you know, to elevate yourself, you know, elevate your spirit, make yourself feel good. All right. Uh, your romance angel cards are let your let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others okay so in relationships you might want to get somebody to be a mediator if there's been some altercations or some disagreements <clears throat> get somebody that y'all both trust you know somebody you know that's going to be uh neutral in the situation and let them be like the mediator and that way y'all both can get something y'all can take care of this matter uh, and come back on common ground and be able to resolve it in a positive manner the next card you got was the romantic feelings they say your feelings are real and worth exploring gemini your feelings are real and worth exploring all right well, that's all I got for Gemini on your short and sweet. Six minutes into your video, hey, it's not how long it is, but the contest, right? Right on. All right, see you again. Yay, yay.